My grandfather, Danny Christensen, was one of the founders, and I'm uh, honored and excited to be carrying on his legacy. I also work in the neighborhood, live in the neighborhood, and so the, the mission of Blanche is something that I see every day. It's not a Band-Aid service, it, um, it's thoughtful, it's tough when it needs to be, but uh, it focuses on just a, a care for the person. I'm son of a founder, Dan Christensen, who unfortunately passed away in, in 02, but uh, we've been going since 1952, serving a thousand meals a day since. That means uh, everything to me. I'm 20 years on the board. Um, proud to be a part of it, continue the legacy that started in the early 50s. You know, when you're, when you're housing 30, 40 men who came off the street, you empowered them to run the place. It's a, it's a great volunteer operation. Feeding is what really strikes at my heart, especially in this day and age where you see people playing in parks and in doorways and have tents all around the city now, just to think of people that are outside battling the winter elements. We got a place like this that's helping 30 to 40 guys every year get off the street, get a job, get a better life for themselves. Yeah, it has a big impact. Well, what does it mean to you at this point? At this point, it's a, it's a dedication. Start it some, keep it going. That we did something that was unusual and it was in God's graces and now all this whole city and everybody are talking about the poor and that and Kennard said that uh, uh, 60 years ago. Socialized charity as we know it is not sufficient to penetrate to men's souls. It is impersonal because it's of its very size. We want to go back to the original meaning of charity as of love. We are every bit as dependent at every moment upon the grace of God as the, uh, the least privileged and, uh, and most needful of, of the people that we strive to serve. Out of the blue, the mayor's office notified us that the city of Portland and the Blanche House of Hospitality had won first prize of $300,000 to erect 30 tiny homes for the homeless. I'm one of the strongest people are not those who show strength in front of us, but those who win battles we know nothing about. I felt worthless and without any power or control. I then moved to the Blanche House. This local nonprofit offering free meals, beds, and jobs. For the following three months, I intensively concentrated on my ongoing recovery from alcoholism, performing service work for up to nine hours a day, six days a week, feeding, helping to feed the homeless. My days sober turned into weeks and into months, changing into someone able to embrace the work of learning how to stay sober, to grow in my faith, to be filled with self-love rather than self-loathing, who keeps his promises to himself and to others. I can still do whatever I want. God just changed my wants. I wish I could say it's all carefree and easy, but it's not. I work at it every day. Every morning when I pray and meditate, I ask for God to guide my thoughts, my words, my actions, and my attitudes. I ask myself every morning before I go to the gym, how bad do you want it? I know many of you in this room today have loved ones, members of your family, close friends, or even yourselves that have suffered from addiction to one type or another. I firmly believe that our salvation depends upon the poor. 